it was very clear to us that it was the same disease being replayed and being reintroduced in South Africa and that it had not in fact been destroyed. And when the apartheid uh, state was coming into, into being, the cities at night were suddenly out of bounds for us. And I wanted to be, you know, in, under the lights of the neon. And it, it just irked me that I, I could not walk about at night and I was treated as if I was a criminal simply by being in the streets at night. When a policeman told you, get on the bus and get back to the township, what are you doing in the center of the city at night? Because there was the white by night law. Nine o'clock, you've got to be out of town. The lives that the blacks were living were pretty appalling. One could not wait for the revolution to come along and rescue one from this kind of impoverished life. So anything that came along to provide the fantasy uh, was most welcome. Just to sit in this dark place and magic takes place on the wall. For a moment we forgot apartheid. We forgot that there was another world that wasn't good. We sat there and were carried away by the dream of these American movies. The biggest thing for a black person was to take someone to the cinema. When I sat in the cinema, the world opened. I saw words London, America, Europe. Then the world in my head got bigger. I could see other people. I could understand other worlds, other languages, other cultures. That was cinema. It, br it brought about an incredible understanding to the black people in this country, that they, especially as a young black boy, that the world is not South Africa. We're part of a bigger world. Today.